L E I G H. Hello, Lisa. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hey, Jay. Hello, Lisa. Hi. Lisa, I'm also sending you the YouTube link just in case you don't have it. Oh, okay. How is everybody? Hey, everyone. Deborah, Janet, Tricia, Lisa, Marie, Connie. So many of you here. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. So today is lift your spirits of course and I'm excited because I'm using beacon of light which is the stamp set and even if you're not a big nautical person I think this might turn into one of your favorite stamp sets because it's this right here is super super cool and I designed it a really cool way um so that's what we're gonna be playing with we also have a couple of uh stencils which we're gonna try and throw in here and there um, we have In the Waves, it's a two layer stencil. So it comes up like this. Actually, I'm gonna spotlight me so you can see it. Spotlight before. Um, so it has the kind of like waves layer and then you can add the detail of the lighthouse on top of it. And then this one I think is called Beacon of Light. So there's your lighthouse on here as well. We'll try and throw some of these in. This one I really like. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, Lisa, because it's over, um, overdone it. But um, you've got your kind of like ship's wheel on here, and then you've got the rope to add around the outside as well, which I think is really fun. Um, you also have compass. So you've got two different layers. You put the first one on, you create this part of the compass, put this one on, let's just do it so you can see do actually all of these quickly so you can see and then we can throw in maybe elements as we go along so if i take this I believe that one's compass rose thank you you're welcome i um i used a test sheet and it already had some engraving on it so that's why i'm in a little bit of trouble with those but i'm going to just put down some independence And then this. That's about right. Okay. And I'm going to take some Vegas strip. So you can see, you can make, look how quick and easy that background was, like super quick and simple um, on there. So this one is called yeah, Compass, Compass Reef, maybe. Um, Compass Rose. Compass Rose. Thanks, Lisa. You're um, so, so this one is Compass Rose. Then we've got this one here, which has your like... Um, wheel in it. I'm kind of thinking maybe a little bit of flat white on this job. Maybe even a little frappe would have been good. And then we're going to take our rope. Whoops. Right, here we go. And I'm just going to use the flat white again. I thought I had a frappe here, but I don't see it. So. I'm kind of doing different shades. So again, you can see, you can have those different things. You could even take the rope and add a little detail around your compass here. 
kind of there. And you could maybe use embossing powder to like really make it pop or some kaleidoscope powder. You could definitely turn that edge into having that rope. It will work right there as well. Um, Rebecca, we will combine orders as much as we can. When we print orders, we try and combine them as we can together. And I thought I would also do, so there's the, um, I think it's called Beacon of Light. I'm trying to read over the top. Something about a sail on that one. So that gives you the scene on there. Um, and you'll be able to use this one in a second. I have an idea for this one. But this I thought we could do. Definitely would recommend some pixie spray on this one if you've got it. So I'm just putting in a hint of blue here. And there is a little diamond to help you line it up. So you can just trace that with a pencil if you want to. So if you want to do that, I'm going to do mine with a pen just so you can see. So we'll take, so you would just take your pencil, outline your hex again, then take your second layer here, line up your hex again. And then when you're done, you just erase it, of course. That one. That's red. So I'm going to use some independence in here. So these are the stencils we'll be kind of playing around with tonight. So you can see, isn't that really cool? Like it just creates a really simple background. You could just add a sentiment and you'd be off. Um, or you can build it up as we're going to do tonight with some other things. There are a few different stencils in there. But the thing that I'm really excited about with this stamp set is this background right here. And that's what we're really going to kind of have fun and play with. So first of all, you definitely, you can see this is pretty sticky when I peel this off. You definitely want to prime to stamp. So I'm going to just spritz it. There we go. I'm back, hopefully. Um, so yeah, so this I just sprayed some prime time on here and that's going to take off the tacky residue, particularly on this large stamp, because we really want to make sure we get a really, really good impression on here. So I'm just going to leave that on there for about 30 seconds or so and make sure that I can see comments up here too. There we go. And um, And okay, Lisa's also watching on YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube, Lisa is over there. She'll be dropping links for you too. Um, okay, so this should be about done. So what I'm going to do now is just take my cloth, give this a quick clean, and your stamp will go from shiny to a bit more matte. And that means it's taken off that manufacturing residue you wanted taken off. Now, if I wasn't live, I typically just take this to the sink. I do this, and then I just run it under... Uh, cold water for like a second or two and it just gets everything off um, but I'll do that afterwards on this one but I'm going to instead just spritz it with a little bit of squid buster like that on. and then your stamp set is ready to go um yes rub before you put it under running water um because it gets off all the residue um once you do the running water it's a little bit harder to get it off so i rub it and then i just give it a clean or you can spray it with a little bit of squid buster and off you go so let's start off with this and there, you can use it both ways up just depending what you want but i designed it so that as you have it on the stamp sheet this would be the bottom and i'm going to show you why so First of all, let's make our first background of the evening. 
And I've got this bit here. So you see this is kind of a little bit straight on here. So we're gonna do this two different ways. And there's a gazillion different ways you can do this. Actually, I'm probably gonna do more than two, but we're gonna start off with two. I'm gonna take some Vegas strip, some neon lights, some icy mist, some English mustard, and some red luster, I think. Kind of how I want to do this. Yeah, let's start with that. So I'm going to start off. Now there's a couple of lines in here. So I'm going to start off just working up to this first line that this line on the piece, um, this is going to be our transition space. This is going to be our sky. This is going to be our sea. Okay. So I'm going to start off with our transition piece. And the Vegas strip is literally just going down there. Then up here, we're going to go in with our English mustard. I'm kind of going to just use my finger to tap and blend. And then we're going to give it a little spritz with water. Too much, just enough. I'm going to flip this over, press down, and now you're going to give it a second. Do not lift this up straight away. You will regret it. I promise you. It's much better when you leave it down for a second. Let all that color absorb into your cardstock, and then off we go again. Okay. So let's take a little microphone off. I'm just going to absorb my excess over here clean off my stamp because I want to do a couple more fun techniques with it in a little bit. Now look at how cool that watercolor looks. Okay. So we're going to put this to the side to dry for a second. We're going to do a couple of other backgrounds because I want to stamp other stuff on here too. I'm going to take another piece of white and I'm going to do the same thing, kind of, but I'm going to do it with reinkers. And this time I'm going to pick out some different colors. A little bit. No, maybe. I'm the worst at picking colors. I don't know if anyone else is too, but um, I kind of have a look. So, first of all, I'm going to make a scenery and then I'm going to clean it and we're going to do something totally different with it. Okay. So, I'm going to start off with a couple of dots of Yellowstone reinker. I'm going to put a little bit of Hyde Park in the middle here, just a tiny bit. Some icy mist right here. I'm going to put one dot of Cotswold Green in the middle. And then I'm going to put a little bit of Vega Strip down here. And I'm going to use the red Lester back at the top, kind of like just in there, really. And then I'm going to grab a brayer. Now, you can use any brayer you have. It does not have to be anything. But we're going to do it in a certain way. We're going to start at the top here. And then we're just going to dance our way down. You see? So we're going down, lift, down, lift. So it goes on just like that. And there is a ton of ink on here. You can use this multiple times. Um, I'm going to clean it off for the purpose of this, but use the collage paper. Use it up. There is a ton of color on there. Now I'm going to give this a little spritz with water because I love that watercolor effect. And now we're going to flip again. We're going to do the same thing. Okay. We're going to leave it down for a second. Let all that color soak in. and lift back up. And again, look at that. Doesn't that look like kind of the gradient? You've got the green of the trees and then you go into the blue of the sea. And if you want your blue to be even darker, just take a little bit of ink at the end or you can grab a little bit more reinker and you can just firm up that blue over the top just like that. So it just gives it a little bit more of a hint of a blue. Okay. So there's another background we've made. And then we're gonna stamp all of these out at the end. 
we'll stamp over them. The next one, I'm going to do just shades of blue. So I'm going to grab Vegas Strip, Icy Mist, um, Neon Lights, Blue Raspberry, Blue Moon, and Acid Wash. So all my blues. Okay. I'm going to do a blue ombre. I'm going to do four different backgrounds, and then I'm going to show you how to stamp on top of them. Um, it's really, really, really cool, this stamp. Um, so I'm going to start with Icy Mist at the top. I'm going to finish with Vegas Strip at the bottom, just because I love that as my kind of bluey C. I'm going to add some neon lights right here. Great blue. You will have a little bit of acid wash towards the bottom here because it's kind of that fun blue. And then we're going to use a bit of blue moon and blue raspberry in here just to kind of blend these together. You can see I'm not using a ton of ink. All right, so again, same thing. Just dance with your brayer. And that's the only way I can really describe it is to do a dance. So you put it down, roll, lift up. I even kind of went upwards once. I wasn't even thinking what I was doing. But um, you're going to get some really cool shades in here as well. Hey, Carrie. Again, good spritz of water. If you think you've lost a little bit of the blues, don't be afraid to go back in. Because I kind of feel like the blue moon and the blue raspberry took over a little bit. And so I'm going to add these in. And you see how they blend. And now we're going to put this down. Stamp it out. I love the look of this color. And this is going to make an awesome background for all sorts of things. Um, you don't just have to use it in the way I'm going to use it tonight. Look how cool that is. I just love that background. Can you imagine putting like the amazing mermaid on there or doing like a galaxy and making it look like um, the Northern Lights? How cool would that be? Use it for a ton of things. I'm going to actually just use all that ink that's left on my brayer and do another background. And I don't know how it's going to come out, but we're going to find out. Little spritz of water because I like how the water kind of makes it look. Ooh, this could be pretty. So again, I'm just waiting for it to go down. Leave it. Look at that. Like it's those like perfect brush marks that you can use. And I just love, and that's just using the same ink that was already on my brayer. So I'm building up a ton of backgrounds here and you can use these backgrounds for anything it does not have to be nautical um so for instance if i wanted to take one of my favorite color combos i'm just cleaning off my brayer so one of my favorite color combos with the brayer is some outrageous some california love and usually i do raw raw skirt okay so I do this as yellow on the bottom, make sure my stamp is cleanish. Whoops. Typical crafter's desk. So I do California Love on the bottom. Raraska on the top. Oh, this one's kind of getting empty. You can tell it's my favorite color combo. There we go. Excuse me, Alex. Yes, Lisa. Because you're doing a watercolor look, what paper are you using? 110 white. So it's not a watercolor paper. But it's not it, watercolor it paper. Watercolor. It's just our regular 110 white. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So. And then in the middle, I'm putting a little bit of outrageous, but I'm not putting anything um, like special on there. And I'm going to take this and blend this. So again, spritz down. And I love how these colors come together. So there is 
one. And as I already have lots of ink on my briar, let's see what else. We couldn't even go this way. Let's see what we get. So you can kind of use it like a little bit of a gel press. And I want to just brighten that up. Because I can see where it's going and I like where it's going, but I just like a bit more vividness to it. So you can add on that little bit extra. Let's see on there. Again, spritz. And you could just keep going. So I'm just moving all that ink around. If you don't want to use your fingers, use your smusher. It'll help you move all of that ink. You could do Christmas backgrounds, you could use metallics. You could also do this same technique, but with alcohol inks and just spray it with isopropyl alcohol. Um, Mansi did it a couple of years ago for the crafter party. And I tell you, it looked amazing um, once it was all done. Like, just look at that, like a fall kind of sunset background. I love all of those colors. Okay, so we have a ton of backgrounds now. So let's now see what we do with these backgrounds. So I'm going to peel this off of here. Quick clean. And Now we're going to grab out some of the elements that are in the set. I want to show you how this all works together because it's a really cool idea and it's not necessarily obvious when you first see it. So I'm going to go back to that first one we made right here. And so it's designed so these elements fit on here perfectly. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take some remarkable black. I think that's here. No, that's not my face. Okay, I moved it earlier today. So I'm just here somewhere. Perfect, clean, remarkable. There you go. There you go. So I have it lined up. So my C is right here. This is supposed to be my um, sky. And there is a line right in here where the kind of the C ends. So we're going to stamp over the top of that. Okay. As I say, you don't have to use this one on here. This makes like the most perfect background and you can use it either way up as well. So I'm just using a little bit of remarkable black on here. Okay. And so there's card number one. How cool is that? Like super quick and easy to finish off once they're dry. And it looks like you've got this, the sea that's kind of lapping around the edge. There's your waves crashing up. And then you move with that lovely beacon of light up here as well. So there's number one. We also designed it, I say, um, my vision as I designed this was, so then you could take, say, what do we have this one here? And maybe we can create a couple of sailing boats on here. So I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna do this one in black. They have tons of gorgeous detail in them too, which I love. Just smush up. Like that. And then I'm going to take this one right here. And I'm just going to offset it up just a smidge like this. And let's take a little bit of fog. We'll stamp it down. Let's see how strong it is. Maybe one a little bit more. And I might even put one. What's that piece of acetate before that? Here it is. 
So this is the acetate. I fold off that stamp set. I'm just putting it over the top. The misty sticky pads, for those of you who wanted it, are now back in stock. Um, everyone who had pre-ordered them, I believe, has shipped out. And I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to take a little bit of black. So you can see, you can start to really build up that scene. And then you can just put your sentiment up here. You could even cut it and make it into note card size. But that little fog one in the background really makes um, kind of that fun scene going on in here. So you can see like how that's going on. And I really like how these come out. So it's super, super easy to start creating these scenes. Um, if you don't want to use the stamps that are in the that. Of course, you can use this as any background, as I say, you can build and use wildflowers or, you know, stamp anything on the top. But another thing I thought you could do, let's take this one here and let's take this stencil. Let's just pull this a little bit out from here. And I'm actually, and people always wonder about doing this, but you absolutely can do this, is I'm going to take some remarkable black on here. You can absolutely blend Remarkable with your brushes. And create, look at that gorgeous silhouette on there. Isn't that the quickest and easiest card? Like, seriously, I think that is so cool. You can do it that way. We could take this one right here. Let's take the more moody of these backgrounds. I'm gonna take this here. And I'm going to leave the bottom bit just a little bit great. You could use fog on there, but again, just adding that little, um, you know, really kind of cool pop of dark. Super, super easy. Like, you go. Just like that. There's like, we've made four cards in half an hour and they look freaking awesome. I mean, you know, we all buy these really cool papers and everything, but literally this background, even if you are not a nautical person, let me just see what I can grab. What do I have here um, in my stash? Okay. Here I have overly floral. You can kind of see these. I think I'm going to take this one. I know I love that lighthouse, isn't it cool, Lisa? And so I'm going to take overly floral here. So this is nothing to do with this stamp set at all. And again, I'm going to take black. You could take any color you want, but I'm going to take black. I'm going to do it a second time. Like this. Look how cool this is starting to look. And this is just literally all I've done is stamp overly floral over the top. And it was, I think like the amazing or any of those things is awesome. I'm going to grab out of here a, let's see, I think I'm going to go for a T5. This is a T5 Copic. And so this is a little like etching stamp, the one that we created here. So I'm literally going to take my Copic and just firm up. Not much, just a little bit. And 
I'm not very good at talking when I'm coloring. Start concentrating. So you can see I'm not really doing much. I'm literally just taking the dark patches of the etching. Like that. And look how cool that looks. Like super, super easy. And again, totally, totally different. So you can use it as a background to, you know, pop something up on. Like I say, I think the amazing Christmas would look awesome. Um, you could make it any kind of fun background. You could make it a snowy background. You could stamp white. Your pigment ink should dispatch tomorrow. Lots of you saw the stickers going up. Um, they're due here tomorrow. You could even um, turn this into, you know, kinds of all kinds of fun backgrounds on here. So I want to show you just like that's super easy. I mean, we've been doing this for 30 minutes and yes, you could add stickers to it. You could just use it as a general background. You could create your own pattern papers this way. You could create winter scenes. You could uh, stamp splatters with marshmallow paste and add and make it look snowy in the background. Like there are tons and tons of things you can do with this. So um, wasn't that simple? Like I was so excited to show you this stamp set. And, you know, sometimes it takes us two hours to make four cards. Well, we just made five cards right here, and I still have a background left, and it's taken us 35 minutes. And that's literally just stamp, the spritz, brayer with the re-inkers. I mean, super, super easy things to do. And then take stencils or stamps, um, your black ink, stamps that are in the set, I mean, I love this. As a card, I think this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's why I was so excited to show you this, because even if you're not a big nautical person, I think this is an awesome stamp set to get just for this, like this element alone. And so I designed it to say, this was supposed to be your sea, this was supposed to be your background, and this was supposed to be your sky. But you can also turn it this way up and change it and have something different going with it too. So you can really break it up and have fun with it. Um, yes, Wendy says, I see the answer to my art therapy. Carrie says, so, so awesome. Thank you so much. That's awesome. You're so welcome. Um, so lots of you are asking about um, next month. Um, so if you haven't done this before, this is called Lift Your Spirits. And things are a little bit crazy right now. So I thank everyone for their patience and we are working as hard as we can. We're shipping out 100 to 200 orders a day. Um, and we really, really appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much. And um, lots of you grab mystery grab bags, last night mega bags. Um, so if you are looking for um, the next month's things, Lisa has been dropping the codes and everything for you. I'm just going to share on the screen what we'll be crafting with next month, just to kind of give you an idea. So let me, <clears throat> excuse me, let me share my screen with you. Um, I have to find the right button. Share. There we go. Okay, so you can see my screen. So this is your stamp set for next month. There is a bundle that includes all of these stamp sets and the stencils I showed you tonight in them as well. Um, but we will be doing this again next month. You can grab your free ticket, it's totally free. You can come join me on Zoom so you can chat with me, which is why I check the chat. And Lisa also checks the chat um, amazingly on YouTube as well. It's a little bit hard once you're live to do too. I'm much. trying. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing a great job, Lisa. You're doing a great like job. It's a social butterfly bouncing back and forth. <laughs> Well, speaking of butterflies, next month's stamp set is the Metamorphosis stamp set. And so you can see here, we're going to be building our own um, butterflies and moths and things like that. It's also some cool sentiments. Nature's message was always these and for us to see. It was written on the wings of butterflies. The butterfly counts not the moths, the months, but moments and has time enough. So this is going to be really cool because we're going to use lots of different mediums and techniques to build out our moths. And we're gonna make moody moths and we're gonna make sparkly moths and we're gonna make sparkly butterfly moths and all kinds of different things on there. So I'm really excited to share that one with you as well. And this is the thing about Lift Your Spirits. It's about taking 
one stamp set and it's showing you four to five different ways to use it. I'll say sometimes it takes us two hours to do those ways, but sometimes we can do them all in 40 ish minutes. Like that's how easy this stamp set is. So if you've ever been on the edge and thought, you know, I wish I could paint, look at these streaks. Like look at this one here. It literally looks like I took a paintbrush and went boop, 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 and off it went. Like it looks like I'm a magical magical painter and i assure you one thing i'm not is a magical painter um, i am great with illustrator and i can make images how i want them to be and all those kinds of things but i am definitely not an illustrator a painter of any kind and this just makes it look super simple and super easy to do as well so here's a couple of things i need you to do i need you to go grab your ticket for lift your spirits next month lisa will pop the link in zoom and on youtube for you if you watch on youtube be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button um so that you can find out when i will be live next i'm hoping to be live at the weekend um just depends on scheduling and kids and all those kinds of things it's a little bit crazy um and we're just finding our new group being on our own and things like that but we're doing okay we're doing good. And I have to thank Lisa and Kim um, for holding everything together while I fall apart a little bit. So um, they have been amazing. So thank you, ladies. And um, then go ahead and grab your stamps at your metamorphosis for next month. But I want you to go play with this beacon of light because I want to see what you make. I want to see what color combinations you do. So be sure to post it in the Crafter Party Facebook group. And lots and lots of you are in there. But Go ahead and post in there your color combos and make sure when you post, you let us know what colors you used and whether you use the ink pads or whether you use the re-inker technique because you will get different effects either way. With the ink pads, the ink will be a little bit thinner, a little bit more uh, translucent, whereas when you use the re-inkers, it's going to be more opaque. As I say, you can also do the same technique with alcohol inks, just spritz it with isopropyl alcohol and you can use it on the Gemineo paper. And again, you'll get a different look. So try them out. Let me know your favorite, tag me in the group in your posts, and I will hopefully see you all on Saturday. So make sure you've hit subscribe and ring the bell. Thank you as always Thanks. for all your support. I hope you've enjoyed five ways to use this stamp set. Even though they were quick and simple, I think they're ways that you're going to get lots and lots of use out of them as well. Carrie says, I can't wait to try with re and alcohol inks. Yes, absolutely. Tons and tons of things as well. Um, so thank you so much, everyone. Excuse have me. a happy, happy rest of your Wednesday night. If you need anything, you know how to get hold of us. And otherwise, I'll see you at the weekend and what we're gonna make. But I'm gonna choose something fun. So I'll see you at the weekend. Have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you very soon. Happy crafting, everyone. Good night. <laughs>